Have you ever paused to ponder on the true significance of Christmas? Many of us associate this festive season with gifts, parties, and an abundance of joy and merriment. Yet beyond the twinkling lights, the colorful decorations, and the laughter-filled air, Christmas holds a profound meaning. It is a time that marks the birth of Jesus Christ, a pivotal event in the Christian faith. Regarded as the Son of God by Christians around the world, Jesus' birth is more than just a tale from ancient times. It's a story that has shaped civilizations, altered histories, and continues to touch millions of hearts today. So as we gather around our Christmas trees, exchange gifts, and share in the festive cheer, let's remember the deeper significance of this joyous occasion. Now that we have set the stage, we delve into the captivating story of the birth of Jesus Christ. Our tale begins with an extraordinary event, an angelic announcement. The story unfolds in a small town called Nazareth, where lived a young, virtuous woman named Mary. She was engaged to a man named Joseph, a carpenter by trade. Their lives were ordinary, their days filled with the simple joys and challenges of life. One day, however, the ordinary turned extraordinary. An angel named Gabriel, radiant and resplendent, appeared before Mary. The angel greeted her, saying, You are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Understandably startled, Mary wondered what these words meant. But Gabriel, in his divine wisdom, comforted her, telling her not to be afraid. Then came the announcement that would change the course of history. Gabriel told Mary, You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. Mary, in her faith and humility, accepted this divine decree, saying, I am the Lord's servant. May your word to me be fulfilled. Now let's turn our attention to Joseph, Mary's betrothed. He was a righteous man, and when he learned of Mary's pregnancy, he was understandably troubled. But just as Gabriel had appeared to Mary, an angel visited Joseph in a dream. The angel reassured him, Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Awakening from his dream, Joseph did as the angel had commanded him. He took Mary as his wife and accepted the unborn child as his own. These divine revelations set the stage for the miraculous birth of Jesus Christ, a birth that would bring hope, love, and salvation to the world. In the humble surroundings of a stable in Bethlehem, a child was born, a child who would change the course of history. Imagine this, a decree from Emperor Augustus, the ruler of the Roman Empire, had just been issued. This decree was no ordinary one. It required everyone, no matter where they were, to return to their ancestral towns to register for a census. This was a time when commuting was not as simple as hopping into a car or catching a flight. People had to walk long distances, often on foot, to comply with the decree. Among those journeying was a couple, Mary, heavy with child, and her betrothed, Joseph. They made the arduous journey to Bethlehem, Joseph's ancestral town. But when they arrived, inns and homes were brimming with people who had also come to register. There was no room for them, nowhere for them to rest, and certainly no place for Mary to deliver her child. And so, in the humblest of circumstances, in a stable meant for animals, Mary gave birth to her firstborn, a son. They named him Jesus, as was instructed by an angel even before his conception. This child, born amidst hay and animals, was no ordinary child. He was the Son of God, the Messiah, the one prophesied about for centuries. As the story goes, on that holy night, shepherds were in the nearby fields, tending to their flocks. Suddenly, an angel appeared before them, its glory illuminating the darkness of the night. The angel announced the birth of the Savior, the Messiah, in the town of David. Guided by the angel, the shepherds hurried to Bethlehem to see this newborn king. They found Mary, Joseph, and the baby, who was lying in a manger just as the angel had said. In a humble stable, the King of Kings was born, a moment that forever changed the world. The birth of Jesus Christ was not just a local event, it was a divine occurrence that drew attention from afar. Far from the humble manger, wise men embarked on a journey, led by a star of extraordinary brightness. These were not ordinary travelers. They were scholars, astronomers, kings in their own right, drawn to the birthplace of this extraordinary child. Carrying with them gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, they followed the star until it rested over the place where Jesus lay. 
Each gift held profound significance. Gold, a symbol of kingship, reflected Jesus' royal lineage. Frankincense, used in worship, pointed to his divine nature and purpose. And myrrh, an embalming oil, foreshadowed his sacrificial death. These gifts were more than mere presents. They were prophetic symbols, marking the life and destiny of Jesus. Their journey, their homage, and their gifts continue to echo across the centuries, reminding us of the extraordinary significance of that first Christmas. So, what does this story mean to us today? Well, the essence of this tale is as timeless as it is profound. It is a narrative that weaves together threads of hope, redemption, and love, encapsulating the very core of Christian faith. The birth of Jesus Christ, as told in this story, serves as a beacon of hope.